Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com. Dr. Denise M. Robinson here to give you a bit more on a Google lesson and formatting. So I have already opened the window or start key four. We'll immediately open it. Now I'm going to do shift T to immediately go into a document. Okay, you need to make sure your accessibility is enabled. Control Alt Z uh, and it will tell you when it is enabled. And then there is a new feature I just want to show quickly. Control Shift S and it's a dictation mode. So if your students have issues typing, do that. Let me just quickly uh, demo that. Control Shift S, voice type enter. Hello, my name is Dr. Denise M. Robinson, and I am here to teach you how to highlight, underline, bold, etc. in a document. Control Shift S, Go ahead and turn that off. And hello, my name is Dr. Denise M. Robinson, and I am here to teach you how to highlight. Okay. And you can see a couple of errors, and that's probably more due to I did not uh, exclaim and or as M clearly enough. Uh, but you get the idea. So let's go ahead and control shift left arrow to select document. document. Okay, and let's do control U to underline. Control U, document. Now I'm going to control left arrow okay. and let's go ahead and control shift left arrow to select. How about bold that? So control B to bold. Okay. Control left arrow. Uh, oh gosh, well we should underline that. So control shift right arrow and control I to underline. Okay. Now, uh, there is a new command in uh, JAWS, insert F8. So insert F8 is this ginormous toolbar up here where sighted kids are clicking, but I'm actually going to show you a faster way to do this. Uh, now, when you down arrow, you're actually gonna hear the hotkeys also. So teach the kids that, and then they can kind of teach themselves also. Uh, but once again, they'll learn that very quickly. Whatever they're doing in Word with just a control in uh, Google, if you add a shift, it does the same thing. So if you want to center, you know, in Word, it's control E. In Google, it's control shift E. So those are quick tricks. But I'm going to show you something even faster. So, this game. so you want to go to your help menu. So alt shift H. Alt shift H, menu, help, eight of nine. Down arrow one down time. Down. And I'm going to type in highlight. H -I -G -H -G -H, highlight color, mm -hmm. So you can actually down arrow now and you can go to the highlight that you want, which is much faster than doing your insert F8. So let's go ahead and go down. Now immediately what I've noticed is I forgot to highlight something. So I'm going to hit escape. escape, escape. Okay, control shift left arrow and select the word you want highlighted. highlight. Okay, and now alt shift H. Okay, down arrow, type in highlight. Okay. And you can even do highlight pink. Uh, if there's a pink, there's obviously not. So put a P. And so it actually gives you the colors they actually have. So if you're not sure what they have, don't type too much. And that really is the key. So I'm going to go ahead and down arrow. Now yellow is typically the one, so I would actually have a kid type in highlight and then do Y and then pull up the yellow features. Now remember your JAWS cursor is split here, even though I've gone down highlight color purple, I can backspace over that P and I can hit a yellow. Okay, and down arrow to the yellow that I want. So just know um, your cursor is split, you've got options. Okay, and we're going to do light color too, and you hit your cursor and you go off. Uh, so let's go over the features that are so crucial here. Uh, forget about doing anything in Google Docs if you do not have accessibility mode operating. That is an absolute must. So one thing I want to quickly show you is a lot of people cannot figure out why they cannot use Braille on this. Once again, you need to make it accessible. There's always a corresponding command to make something work if something's not working. Once again, we're gonna go back to that faithful help. Down arrow one time, type in Braille. Ah, look at there. Okay, so my guess is your enable Braille support is not checked. So just down arrow and hit enter on that and check that and lo and behold, the Braille display instantly starts working. 
If it doesn't, go ahead and turn off your talking software, turn it back on, uh, and then your Braille display works. That's also a real key with Braille displays. If they're not immediately coming up, you need to turn off your talking software because the Braille display always needs to go on first before talking software. So I always tell my kids, have it connected up, have it turned on, then turn on your computer. But we're humans, we forget. So they get on the computer, just turn off the talking software, make sure the Braille display is on, and it works. So those are some more tricks on that. Uh, if you have talking issues, here is your speech bar. If you forget that, then I want you to do Alt-Shift-T. Alt and there it is. This is not an option uh, in Firefox or other browsers. This is a Chrome-based feature. So if you want to do voice typing, it is uh, only in Chrome right now. Updates make an amazing difference. Um, remember when you go, when you need to go to your toolbar, think about Office. We hit our Alt key to go to the menu. You just add a shift and you can go to the menu. So we're going to do Alt Shift F because it's so powerful. Alt -Shift -F. So we're going to hit Escape the first, menu and then Alt Shift F. Now, uh, yeah, be careful of that mouse. I always tell my kids put their finger on their mouse pad, whip it off the mouse, uh, off the computer, and then disable their touchpad because that mouse gets them in so much trouble. It will be activating things, and they don't even know it, and they wonder why your commands aren't working. So make sure that mouse is off the page, and you just heard it say rename. That was due to my mouse. That was not due to me. My mouse just happened to be positioned over there. So uh, share, and visually you can see already what's here. Share, new, open, make a copy, download as, email attachment, version, everything. Rename, so if you ever hear view only document, you cannot type on it. You have to enable it. The way you enable it is you make your own copy. So let's say I have to share this now, and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on share. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, we'll call it you know, Denise, something nice and easy. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and type that in. Tab, make sure it is edit, especially to a teacher. Okay, see, attached, or whatever great thing you want to say. Tab, send, enter. Okay. So that's how you do some formatting, and truly between your insert F8, uh, but I tell you that Alt-Shift-H to help, and that will take you anywhere. So if you do not know how to do something, immediately go to your help, down arrow, type in what you need, and it will immediately take you there. Okay, so those are some great Google tips. Uh, have some fun.